Right, and this is an extra section of the tutorial playlist where I would like to go through some features I added to the CSM library and the overall structure of my CS70 uh, note repository so I can bring a bit more references in later tutorials. So this, this is also about how we can, this, video, this section of the playlist is also about how we can organize our notes that come in huge volume with relatively smaller documents. So as you can see, once again, the total size of the document is around uh, 35,000 words, but it is organized in small sub notes such that the, the compilation still takes time, but the editing process is rather smooth because I'm not dealing with, an, with a stupidly large file. So for example, the overall PDF would look like this, where I can also generate a table of contents by recompiling main.tech, which, which I'll do by using the control S that can help me compile the LaTeX project. So as you can see, using LaTeX and VS Code and, invert and Overleaf is a very similar process. So while it's compiling, here is how I currently organize my CS70 notes. So first of all, you will see something called document class open any book. So you can see that book is the format I chose for my CS70 notes. And I can, and you can also see use package ln, which comes from this .sty file, standing for a basic setup of my notes and the libraries it uses and the formats it uses. So for example, here are the basic usages that I use for basic setup. And here are some package choices that I copied from the x16a general style file, which is the x16.sty file. And after doing so, I can also create some shortcuts in my .sty file. You can customize the style of your courses worksheet in CSM, as well as in your other documents. And this is how you can, for example, create shortcuts. These techniques might be useful if you want to implement your own shortcut to ease your own LaTeX editing process. So for example, I think I added in backslash p to be the general probability uh, general probability letter that we use in CSM. So if you look at the math blackboard form of uh, blackboard bold form of p, you will see this letter here, which is what we usually use to denote probability. And same for E, which is usually used for denoting expectation. And I added in the shortcut so it's easier for me to edit. Okay. Now here is a T color box point. Uh, here's a T color box part. So T color box is a general library that allows you to decorate sections of your notes with rather colorful devices. For example, if I now go to my PDF, which I can open on the side instead, that would be more used, uh, that'll be more effective. If you scroll down through this long table of contents, you'll see these boxes. And these boxes are powered by T color box package, which I included in my .sty file. So as you can see here are some custom environments I made based on other T color T color box guides. And we can we can see that there are some customized color in here, as well as different environments targeted for different types of mathematical objects, such as theorem, definition, symbol. So you can see here's a definition box, here's a symbol box, and scrolling a bit more below, here are some lemma boxes, here's an exercise box, because CS70 loves to provide its reader exercise. There's also a theorem box that can be nested within. I added these things into the ee16.sty file for CSM, and if this is a welcome thing. You can also ask for these from the 16A content team if they still have it now. But in general, this is how the style is organized for my notes. And now you can see the make title part that we talked about in the, uh, in the first video of the tutorial playlist where I can backslash make title to make the title of the document. What am I saying? Okay. And then you can also insert a table of contents. That's, uh, that's outside of the tutorial scope, but you can learn that on your own. And then, as you can see, I'm using backslash input to do one-liner copy-paste from other sub-documents to this document so that I can be saving space and not having, and then I'll not have to deal with a huge document. In general, this is how the main document of CS70 notes is organized.
this is a rather short extra section because I just wanted to bring you references and also show you that some of the things you currently see in the CSM16 team is uh, directly originating from this work that I currently have. Let's go over a few more points since we are in VS Code for once uh, using LaTeX. The way, once again, the way in which you use LaTeX between VS Code and Overleaf is very similar and you can also see that when dealing with a large file system, something that can be something that can appear in smaller font or be collapsed in an easier form is usually easier to edit in, which is why I currently like VS Code a bit more than Overleaf is because it's much more convenient to do file management. And it's also it also has a good VS Code also has a good extension that is not too difficult to use. It's pretty convenient to edit in VS Code for me. Okay, that being said, this is all I need to talk about in this extra section of the tutorial, and that's about it.